Hello there, my lovely Legionnaires. How are we doing today? Gonna take me a split second. I'm I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting something. It'll be fine. But yes, it's our fight. Our fight. Always. Nice. Rad. Cool. I played a fucking win, Danica. What did you do? Uh, more art. That's it. That's no. All. What do you? No, but what was the win? I have to keep going until I win. Oh, oh, that's what you said. Okay, I thought you said I pulled a win, and I was like, huh? No, I said I played a win. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My mistake. I thought uh, you said I thought you said pull, and my brain was like, like gotcha. <laughs> Seventy percent humidity furnace in my place. Oh god. Oh gross. How do you function in 70% humidity? Uh, hold on. What is... My humidity is only six, 26%. You, whoever said that made me look it up. Um, so... So I, uh, damn. Uh, sorry, homie. I uh, hope you'll manage. Uh. Mm. Okay. Should be... No, I'm gonna wait till stream starts before I say this one, because it'll, we might make good content. No, stream did start. Uh -oh. No, I mean like proper late start. Why did I think that was gonna be the opening notes of King Slayer for a second? I don't know. <laughs> How you function in humidity that high, I could never. I'd, I have long I'd sooner die. I have long since lost my ability to metal stream. I need to regain it. So, uh, apologies that I didn't finish that bit there, Chad. Um, I owe you one metal growl. I owe you card to everyone in chat. Um, <laughs> can we talk about the fact, by the way, Chad, that when I showed Heaton the pyramid head and Enderoid that they showed off today, <laughs> her response was simply to say, Huntable. <laughs> like, 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 just huntable like like no elaboration no explanation just huntable. so now i just have i just have this mental image of heaton fucking kicking pyramid head across a fucking field specifically uh it should be the the nendoroid <laughs> it's like i'm just a little pyramid head and, blah! and punt <laughs> So, uh, today I grabbed a bunch of Sonic OCs, and we're gonna draw Sonic OCs today. That's epic. I love that. That is amazing. I am so glad that you did that. <laughs> Wood pun. <laughs> yeah. This is one of my... Also, it's one of my favorite genre of Sonic OCs. Which is the fan Sonic fan characters who use species that are either not used or underused within the franchise canonically. Most of these are hedgehogs. Well, that's expected. Let's not... The Sonic series has done a wonderful thing in the last 30 years. I think 30. Um, the last 30 years of making hedgehogs like an animal that the majority public care about. It's so and true. I think that, I think that's rad. Um, ignore the fact that this that Sonic evolved as a franchise into essentially becoming uh, Dragon Ball for children. Um, well, no, that's not correct. That would imply Dragon Ball isn't also for children. You know what I mean. You, you get what I mean. It's, it's a. It's, it's a this is a. This is a furry shonen. Oh God! So, uh, yeah. a little fun, um, a little fun fact. Uh, I am so scared of what the phrase furry shonen made you think about. Uh, nothing. Uh, 
Oh, thank God. I was gonna say, a fun fact for those of you who were not already aware. Uh, I don't know jack or shit about Sonic. Uh, I've simply discovered that drawing Sonic characters is fun. It is. So that's, uh, that's the extent of it. I don't know shit. Which is why I'm glad that one of my common cus one of my common commis commissioners keeps making keeps making me do it. Um, Hello, gamers. Wherever you are, wherever you are, Felicia. Thank you. You're the best. Also, but if you're here, Felicia, you should probably you you could also commission Heat <laughs> into draw Sonic characters too. <laughs> Just putting that one out there, you know, putting it out the Sonic's theater. the Italian guy in red and blue overalls. You're so right. Well, no, actually. That's wrong. Uh, you're thinking that you're thinking of Mario. Sonic is the robot guy wearing blue and cyan. Someone please continue this joke. I need help. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're referencing. The, the he he didn't. I want you to think about '80s to '90s era 2D platformers. Think about the fact that I just described a robot in red and blue and cyan, and, and, and uh, this is. I didn't. He didn't he, he, I he, didn't play '80s or '90s platformers. He didn't do it. Chad, I'm. Chad, you can't see it, but I'm looking at the camera like it's the office. <laughs> I got started in the PS2. You can't do this. I, I was born in 99! I have less of a reason to know this shit! You're older than me! That doesn't mean it was part of my childhood! I am aware! Okay! <laughs> Why are we yelling? <laughs> my childhood was handheld. Actually, that's- Okay, wrong! Tangent. That's Mega Man. Sonic is a blue water Pokemon with a shell. No, that's Squirtle. Well, I'm glad someone understood my description. <laughs> but, no, like, the transitioning with the handheld statement, actually. Um, I still think the DS is Nintendo's best console. I agree. I don't know if I've- I don't know if I've said this here before. I've said it before, I just don't know if it was here. I say, you have to forgive me, unless it's immortalized or really funny. I always- I sometimes forget where- in what setting I say what thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think the DS is probably Nintendo's best handheld. Because not only did its first party titles take full advantage of the tech, you know, instead of it, the tech just being a gimmick that they forget about halfway through the console's lifespan. Because why did we stop using 3D like a year after the free, like a, two years after the 3DS came out? What the hell was that about? Um, and also, why did Wii U developers stop using the the the, the bottom screen as an as a like as a meaningful form of mech of mechanics but also i think the ds had a lot of really good third and first party games that unfortunately have are stuck on that platform Avi! hello what's up wow. gamers it's me the guy who's gonna just derail all the shit as is your I mean, what i do to be fair whenever the two whenever we're in the call together at least at least something funny happening so you know what that's fine I get content out of it either way. You do. Hooray! I've seen, I've YouTube seen, shorts. I've seen your YouTube shorts. A lot of them are shit I've said. <laughs> Recently they have been. I am very funny, I have learned. Take that, Dad, I am a comedian. Mega Man's been without a game, they fell out of pop culture. Just because I didn't think of Mega Man immediately doesn't mean Mega Man fell out of pop culture. You just have to remember that I'm a fake gamer. Also, true. You don't play video games. No, also, don't. side. Also, side note. Um. Well, speaking of Mega Man, actually, and speaking of my recent brain rot, actually, Chad. Um. Do you know how much of Mega Man's d DNA is in the de developers of the first Dead Rising? A lot of it. I've noticed. Not only because I learned that Inafune apparently funded the project. Uh, I wonder what he's doing now. Um. But. Also, I learned that the writer of Dead Rising One was also the one who wrote the who wrote the story of Mega Man Powered Up, which, for context, was a PSP remake of the first Mega Man that added cutscenes and dialogue and personality. Hmm. Uh, also, from my understanding, the director of Dead Rising One was also the person who directed the Mega Man ZX games. 
There's a lot of mm -hmm. Mega Man DNA in this funny zombie game, let me tell you. I like hey, it. Hey, uh, by the by. Yes? Uh, as my... Uh, I lean into Avi ever so slightly. Oh, hey, man. Uh, as the person I was planning to ask has vacated the internet, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about getting me a, a PlayStation 1 PC, would you? I know... I, I know a guy. Cool. I... What? I, I have to. So I said that I was going. So one of my sub goals. So the, the next sub goal from the subathon that I want to do is the, uh, the Silent Hill marathon. And I want to. I want to. Oh. As soon as this is done, as soon as Art Fight's over, I want to start playing Silent Hill One. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'll ask Am. <laughs> I'll ask Am yeah, how he also, did it. I literally yeah, just also, asked my guy. Put, like. Can you can you put God Hand on there? Like I uh, like I don't know how to tell you how much content God Hand gives you. Why well, did you uh I have a bunch of video games I have to play and a bunch of little I want to do some of the little stuff during October intermittently, but I want to start I want to add a slot into my regular thing for the Silent Hill marathon because I I have to I have to find my fucking daughter. That's fair. fair. I'm I, I'm waiting on my guy to get me the links to the actual emulator content, but for the time being, I will provide you with uh, the video game and get back to you when my guy gets back to me. Because whenever my fr whenever my friends are like, "Hey, does anyone know how to insert emulation question?" I'm like, "Don't worry, I know a guy. I re I summon Argentinian do person I've known for f for nine years. <laughs> I summon an Argentinian. It's uh, thank you for telling me what." with the phrases because I've never known. Yeah, I know an Argentinian NB who just is who is really into two things, video game emulation and bodybuilding. That is not a joke. What a wild set of interests. Yowie Maya yeah. returns from the hamster enclosure. <laughs> like God. Homie will tell you how to how to emulate Popful Mail on Sega CD one minute and then and then fucking get ripped the next. Oh, uh, <laughs> dude, I literally just fucking uh <laughs> I, I just, like, I looked at my fucking pen for, for a second, and I was like, you know, this could fit in my nose. Uh, yeah, feels good. Um, anyway. Hey, Keaton, I was thinking about this earlier, because I watched a summon-only run in Elden Ring a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Like, your list of excuses is rapidly dwindling. I'm aware. What do you yeah, mean? you can literally because there's there's not even an I'm I'm so bad at video games uwu fucking because you could turn the game into Pokemon. You literally you get your summons and then the summons fight the boss for you and you watch the health bar go down. Grabs you with a single bit. I don't want to get bullied again. Also, by uh who? By the community. I got bullied when I was- by what? I got bullied by the Funger community for playing Funger wrong. <laughs> well, you know what? He, here's what you say to, to, um... Here's what you say to people who tell you that you're playing the game wrong. You ask them, Did you beat the game as a wretched with a club at soul level one? On a dance pad while blindfolded and someone is poking you with a knife? If you didn't satisfy all those conditions, you didn't really beat Elden Ring. Unbelievable. The game is literally balanced around you using summons. That's the whole point. The whole point of the game is that they put summons in the game so that they could make the bosses as hard as they wanted. And if you didn't want to actually fight them, you could have your Pokemon do the job for you. And then maybe get the last couple hits in and be like, yeah. Yeah. Like, you're gonna watch me do it, and you're gonna be like, oh, it's that easy? Hey, you know what else is easy, guys? More. Join us. <laughs> okay, Google, set a timer for two minutes. Wow, that was easy. Indeed. Oh, by the way, I did want to say, um... Nice, Danica. I'm, uh... Yes. I did want to say, I'm so sorry, I had to banish you to the zone. What? What? I didn't want to. I didn't want to. What are you, ta what are you talking? Yes. 
It's okay, you... buddy. I'm all right with it. What are you talking about? So I'm. Um, uh, I understand. I'm planning. Uh, we're putting some stuff together for my thirtieth birthday. Okay. Um, so, but we had to. So we were sitting around, and it was going to be that. What I wanted was it for it to be me, uh, Brooke, Justin, Dio, and Avi. But okay. but Avi can't make it because uh, he's doing. It's your college course stuff, right? It's. I'm basically doing a trade school thing. Yeah, he, he's doing a trade school thing, <laughs> and so he can't get the days necessary for it. So, I had to banish him from the group chat, and I was like, "I'm the, sorry." The only thing I would have, the only thing I would have actually appreciated is if you would have been like in my D, if you would have said in my DMs like, "Hey, yeah, it's like I don't want you to get FOMO. Like, I'm just gonna." throw you out of the, the yeah, chat if you well, don't mind. Yeah, that's I would literally... Like, yeah, oh, absolutely. That's literally exactly why I did it. <laughs> I literally did it exactly because I was like, oh, Avi will feel bad if we keep planning stuff while he's here, so I banished you to the zone. <laughs> that's fair. And again, I'm going in on Sunday so I can um, ask about my uh, my accommodations and uh, as... As an ADHD and an autist, I'm going to ask about my accommodations. I'm going to see what I can do. Um, I would not at any point, like, if this wasn't, oh, it's work experience that you have to be there for. Okay, Google. I would have been like, stop. Who gives a shit? I'll take a week off of school. Blow me. But like, no, this is like, if you miss more than a few days, then like, you're fired. Then they send- then they- they send you away. Yeah, they- they fucking kill you. Um, but yeah. I'll figure out what I can do. And if I can make it, that'd be baller. What if- What the- They- they- They kill you. They fucking shoot you. Yep. They put you in the machines. <laughs> it's called the device, actually. They put you directly into the device. I... Almost I just- crushed my fucking boss. Anyway, did you <laughs> hear about the fucking guy who beat the allegations recently? Uh, what, alle what guy? What guy and what allegations? Hey guys, time for us to play my favorite game. Guess who's not a pedophile? Is it A, Drake of music fame? No. B, E Diddy of music fame? No. Um, C, Dr. Disrespect of Twitch fame, or Definitely D, not. Mog, Lord of Blood. <laughs> it's, it's Mog, Lord of Blood, isn't it? That's so fucking funny. Yeah, basically in, in, um, in, in Elden Ring, there is a bit of lore where Mikola- Thank, thank you for the resub! You may have heard the name Mikola said by Melania. Um, as she is the blade of Mikola. I was about to say, as she's um, the blade of it, I do believe. Yeah, Mikola is her brother, and whereas, uh, Melania was cursed from birth with the Scarlet Rot, uh, Mikola was born, uh, cursed to forever be a child. Damn, and Irma, so, baby. Yeah, and so when Mog stole, um, Mikola's cocoon from the Halleck Tree... And then, like, does the the pose in his boss fight? It is assumed that Mog had a weird incestuous relationship with Mikola, and that it was gross and weird, and it's gross. And Mog was the the loathsome child molester. As it turns out, Mikola mind controlled him. Oh. So Mog is fine then. I assume. Mog beat the allegations in death. That's See, well, right. it had to be it had to be Mog because the other three you listed as my multiple choice were obviously not the answer. Yeah, like, what, what do you think that like? Oh no, uh, actually, P Diddy is Dio uh, over heaven and rewrote reality. I was say I don't think the guy who fled to France was beating the allegations either. God, if, like Israel and France are the two places where if you flee to them, it's just like, oh, you are the most guilty. <laughs> 
everything. I oh, can't believe it. Hunger Times? A good point. The two ways you can satisfying good. experience Funger is either alone or by duetting it with Patron Saint, who just knows the game and is not an ass about it, like Connor did his run with uh, Frappolo's Guidance. Otherwise, backseating gets intense. Also, shame it happened to you. Hope it didn't ruin the game for you. No, it didn't. I I had a I had a good time. And actually, the funniest part was I got like three people came in and backseated me. Two of them were incredibly polite. They were like, uh, both of them were like, uh, hey, you're doing really great. Uh, you should try doing this, this, and this. It'll help out a lot. And I was like, oh, thanks. Like, they came in and they gave me, like, genuinely good advice. And then one dude came in and is like, why are you, like, attacking and then running away and then exiting battle and then attacking again and i'm like uh because this boss is bigger than me and will uh shove his and shove his fist up my ass and use me like a sock puppet and i want his items and he was like but like why would you do that and i was like and he's like we'll just fight him i'm like no no <laughs> hey, hey GE, you want to know what i did for my uh, streams of Shadow of the Earth Tree, mm. when I got to a boss and I died to that boss three times, I said fuck it, and then I summoned two guys. In uh, I stood in the back and used the Scarlet Rock Dragon Breath, infected my the boss with AIDS, and then proceeded to run until uh, the vanquish. And do you want to know what happened? I got an achievement. And I got a remembrance. And I could move forward. And you wanna know who could deny me of that? No one. Who do you play the game with? Yeah. Like, the realist, like, why the fuck are you doing it this way? And I'm like, because it's... Uh, because... The, I can't remember the name for the skill that lets you, like, 100% run from battles. But uh, I was like, because this lets me, like, not... Again, get fucking fisted by the tower guards. And they're like, well, like, if you just fought him. I'm like, yeah, if I just fought him, he'd put fucking crossbow bolts in my chest. And then fuck me to death. I'm not doing this. Yeah, no, instead, you're gonna be like me, where you see the optimal solution, and you're like, oh, bet. And then you win, and then you leave. And then it says, enemy vanquished, and you're like, I did it. Give me your fucking items. Yep. Alright, progress. Let's go. I'm like, A, this is the Dungeon of Fear and Hunger. This is a fucking RPG. I, I am constantly role-playing as a victim. I'm not doing this. Yeah, oh. dude. And, and that's the thing. When I, when, I get, when I got to the final boss of the DLC, I brought in a bunch of dudes to help me. And we still got our asses kicked. Send dudes. Because you know what? Please send dudes. <laughs> yeah, because like, here's the thing. There's a big difference to me personally. I, I, for me. Between the, like, the final boss of the game you bought being really hard and you can't just summon dudes you'd actually probably need to try. And then the final boss of the additional $40 DLC that you bought so you can fight more bosses. Like, at that point, if you make the final boss, like, necessary to actually fight, fuck it, fine, I don't care. Like, I'm I'm here, I just, I'm specifically on a weird timetable. I'm not gonna fault Miyazaki for that shit. Uh, like, when I got to the final boss, whom I won't spoil, because it has not been two weeks yet, um, or it has, I just don't like spoiling you know what um, i'm so glad that somebody has fucking decorum because guess who got fucking jujitsu kaisen and spoiled by tiktok again hey man i loved chapter 262.5 honestly it was really good stop not tagging your bullshit oh no, no yeah i sure love being a person who feels like she has to rush her way through season two of the anime now because it's progressively getting harder to fucking not be spoiled. Not just on social media, but around all of the people I talk to regularly who talk about this anime constantly. Honey, maybe. Yeah, sure, go for it. Uh, I, I, with Jujutsu Kaisen, I, I started watching it. Um, I have this 
innate ability. If I don't want to know about, if I don't want to know spoilers for something, I just won't. Like Sword. that's it. I, I I just I just I I uh, for example I'm simply I better. didn't know. I'm like uh, okay. What's like a spoiler that everyone knows? Okay, Harry Potter. Okay, I did not know. I'm about to. Nobody gives a shit about Harry Potter. No, you. I was didn't. supposed to be like, mm, it's a Trapper Spider. Um, yeah, I did not know until two years ago. Oh no, it was last year. I did not know until last year that Dumbledore died. What? All right, I'm not, I'm not doing this bit. This bit sucks ass. Um, hey, I I just like to state real quickly, Danica. Okay, you are refusing to watch an anime that has been out. For almost a year now. Uh, don't um, word it like and that. It's you not, just it's kind not, of aren't doing it. it it's and not, then you're complaining about spoilers. It, it's Ian not and a, I are in the trenches. Uh, okay, trying well, to avoid the hardest okay, of well, hard to avoid manga spoiler content. We are not the same. Okay, that's great. I'm not refusing to watch it. Let's get that out of the way. Um. You are. Uh, I just, is, you could simply not, you could simply quit your job. You could get through it in an well, afternoon. I don't know what to tell you. you uh, uh, with uh, Heaton, sweetie. Um, art is my job. I don't have a different job. Then you have no turn it turn it the fuck on while you draw. It's in English. It's in English. God, I'm getting. Well, I know this is. You're getting English. commentated on, bitch. Yeah, yeah everyone's a. Uh, Everyone's crossing their arms at me. You are getting wild. Yeah, I'm... sometimes when you throw out bullshit and people fucking respond to your bullshit in something that is no, in the like... TikTok comment section. Here's the thing. My biggest issue when trying to get through season two is that I'm not a binge watcher. It's just not some. It's just not something I'm built for these then days. Watch one episode a day. I have to be a binge watcher because if I don't binge watch things, I will forget that they exist. There's a huge difference binge... between. Sorry. Uh, I binge watched a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, not a lot actually. We, I just met. Uh, what's the guy? It's Is he guy... named close to someone? Some someone else. I don't rem. I don't remember. He I, he like? was the one who was like, "What kind of woman do you like?" Oh, Toto. Oh, no. <laughs> that one. Yeah. I don't know. I I just met him. I think. Love Toto. He's the best character in the whole series. Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, <laughs> we know the kind. Of, well, like everyone has a favorite character, and then you are asked who is the best one, and you say Toto. Um, okay. I will say, uh, in terms of JJK so far, I did finish all of. The anime's first season, and then I watched Zero, which was awesome. Both were pretty good. And I was told to watch Zero before season two by uh, one Ellie Momelli, so I did. Because I, I likely mean, wouldn't, if I, she wanted to... Sorry. I likely wouldn't have watched it if she hadn't told me to watch it, but I did. Um, and I'm I mean, glad I did. If, if she wanted to be a real fan about it, she would have told you to watch uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero only after watching the first seven episodes of season two. But you know how to be a you know I how shouldn't... you know how you really be a real fan. You know, you know how to be a real fan. Hmm. Killing people. Um, no, you uh, well, watch too. the thing and go. You watch the thing and go. I'm a fan of this thing, and boom! Surprise! You're you're a real fan. No, that's not it. You have to like. Not... You have to come no. on the Gojo figure before you're a fan. Uh -uh. <laughs> we, no. I am not. We are not having a repeat of the box, Dandy. Please shut up. I. Th th this happened before Box was even a character. No, I'm aware. I'm aware. Wait, hold on. Wait, stop. What did someone actually? Did someone actually come on a Gojo stop. figure? I can't do this. Hold on, no. No, I was making the box stand D comparison because I thought you were making a hypothetical. The fuck you mean someone actually did that? It's worse. It could be like the Bakugo poster. Who? No, oh, no. hell yeah. Okay, so it's like the trio of, of getting fluids thrown on your merchandise. Bakugo, Gojo, Box. <laughs> what about the... Uh, uh, I thought the most infamous one was the fucking... Oh, uh, well, I don't know what it, I don't actually know what was in it. 
Oh yeah, it was a on. rainbow dash. Uh, I just oh, was yeah. thinking about a cum draw. Yeah, that's yeah. I was, yeah, I was gonna say, I was saying rainbow dash was the original. Mm. She came before the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't use that one. The rainbow dash jar was the Dragon Ball to these big three. Yeah! <laughs> you are don't my fucking... so Don't word it like I that. <laughs> I don't like this conversation. Neither do I. <laughs> neither do I. Sorry! That's what happens when I'm here! I'm sorry! Yeah. I was like, neither do I. Next time, do don't you be my friend. Learn uh, better. I do have a switch. Why do you ask? Can I friend you? I've got one. I have one, though. I have Animal Crossing. I have my Send me bag. your fucking friend code. I'm sorry, will, the what? Uh -huh. Don't worry. Drop it oh. now. Then you're, you my are friend. My, special. my friend code? Yeah. Uh, not in chat. Not for not for plebeians. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll talk to myself right now. Oh, my switch. Mm. What's this shit? Wait, just, how do I. You just DM it to me because oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not anywhere near my fucking switch right now. Okay, because for those who don't know my law, um, two I years ago, in in 2022, um, someone stole my switch out of my bag while I was in work. Oh my god! Um, I know, I sucked, and I didn't tell anyone about it because I didn't want my mom to get mad at me. <laughs> so for two uh -huh. years, I've been switchless, and then I saw one that was on sale. It was like 50% off because it, it was like. It's second hand, but I checked it and it's literally fine. The only thing that's slightly off is that the the fan makes a little bit of noise. But that's just because it's fucking old. And worst comes to worst, I'll just fix it. Um like I know how to take apart the switch. <sighs> it's fine. Um so I got it for half price and it's the same color as my old one, so no nobody needs to know. So my crime. Your crime. I, I'm... And it's not even your crime. It was literally somebody else's crime. <laughs> yeah, but but, uh, but I now don't have to be proven. I I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to face my mother going. Oh, I told you so because she told, kept telling me not to take my switch to work. It, that is your you are my special. <laughs> you are Get there. I will, don't worry. Um, especially because I plan to go through season two. Like, I'm just gonna watch through it, like, this weekend because I started trying out a new thing where I don't have any streams scheduled on the weekends. So I'm just probably gonna put it on while I work this weekend and finally be done with season two so I don't have to have... So I don't have to... Uh, uh, oh, I, I don't have... You read manga. Ugh, oh. Well, okay. I, I would love to read the manga. In fact, it'd be my preferred method because I like reading manga to study. Oh, it's... done, done. I'm literally, I'm sending it to you right now for free. Done. I like I like studying the um I like studying the way manga and comics are are paced and put together so Great. I can adapt it in, so I can adapt it into my own work because as you know, awesome. I've been working on a webcomic for three years of my life right now so far. And uh, one of the best ways to get better at it working in a medium is to study how it's done by other people. It's why I read the weird shit that I do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, time to send... You know what? What episode did you get to? I'll just send you the chapter that that is. I, I literally finished all of season one of the anime, so... Okay, you just, great. Then you, you don't need to watch season two. I was like, so you... What do you mean I don't... He's about to send you the whole manga. Okay, then just do it. Yeah, done. N no balls. <laughs> you will not say no balls to me, Mrs. I've never had anything in my ass. <laughs> I have had things in my ass! Stop lying! <laughs> I knew Ami was a gatekeeper, huh? I mean, oh, I, I, I come I here am, to get psychologically I damaged. I don't- Sphinx, what do you mean you didn't come here to get psychologically damaged? Ami is then gaslighting- why the fuck are you here? Oh Obvious shit, wait, the Duel Rulers trailer dropped. Y'all can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot lie about me on stream and then leave. I the took Duel my Rulers headphones off. Trailers. You can I, this, I is, am this is great timing. I literally took my headphones off to watch a video <laughs> that my mom sent me. And I just, I, I literally, you scream so loudly. I cued it from my headphones that were on the desk. I was like, what? 
What? Avi keeps telling Heaton's community I've never had anything up my ass. It's a lie! It's a lie! You could not waterboard that information out of me. <laughs> Factually true. <laughs> I'm starting to understand how Heaton gets so much content out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking uh. spread misinformation and bounce as a few months away. <laughs> I'll be literally said, nod, gaslight. <laughs> nod, liar. I love gaslighting. Do you want a confession? Mm -hmm. you, this is, I don't know if this is good content or not. Um, for the past year, this is the line of content. For the past year, I've been actively gaslighting all of my friends on my actual height. Mm -hmm. Every time someone has asked me what my height is, I've said a different number. What's your height? I have 11. See, now I don't know if that's a different number or not. Um, you could learn. be lying to me. Right? You could be lying to me right now, and I wouldn't know. Yeah. We'll never. Mm. I guess we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <gasps> Smile. You can ask, and I'll answer. How tall are you? Uh, 5'9. <laughs> See, I knew it. No, I didn't. No, he didn't. He Thanks said five nine. Yeah. You need to pay better attention. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah, it's like kind. It's kind of kind of tall, but it's not like not super tall. I'd like to be. I wish I was a bit taller. You know. I've said before that, like, the one thing I would change about my body, if I could change anything, is that I'd like to be taller. And my mom's like, what do you mean you want to be taller? And I'm like, I want to yeah, be... Yeah, you're 5'8". Yeah, I was like, I want to be taller. And she's like, how much taller? And I'm like, I would like to be, uh, 6'1". Six one. Six one. And she I'd just... I'd like to be... She just looked at me and she's like, why would you want to be that tall? And I just looked at her and went, reasons. And that's it, that's the whole I... thought. I told my mom recently that I'm going to start uh, lifting weights again. And she looked so... Dis not disappointed, but just like exacerbated. She was like, But you were telling me how you're struggling because you want to... You don't know whether you want to be feminine or masculine. I'm like, yes. So I'm going to get swole and wear pretty dresses. Get with the motherfucking program. Then I can be both. Um, you know, I said, I actually said a quote last night when I was watching um, Ellie and uh, your boyfriend Dio mm -hmm. uh, playing playing uh, Roblox together. Mm -hmm. um, I said the quote, um, "Man, the gender binary sure sounds restrictive." Glad I quit that. It is for pussies and bitches, and it's why I don't participate in it. I am neither a pussy nor a bitch. Which, side note, by the way, watching Ellie and, Mor and, and Dio play a uh, fucking Roblox was really funny. Because there was a visual that, I, I'm shitting you not, is one of the funniest things to imagine. But I got to see it. This because I was like, watching Ellie, Ellie way, share screen. Uh, quick yeah. note. So, a fun yeah. note for those of you who struggle with color theory. So, like... Dog, it's the middle of the fucking day! Calm your tits! Heard somebody fucking shooting fireworks off outside. Good God. Happy Farf. God, I felt my accent come out in that one. Jesus. Anyway, uh, when you're, uh, when you have a design like this, where a lot of the, where a lot of the colors are strong, but don't really go together, uh, and you feel like, oh, it's clashing. It doesn't look good. Pick whatever color you want to be like your most dominant. So like, for example, this blue here, uh, and then apply, uh, an overlay and you see how that instantly brings a little more harmony and makes them all look a little better? Because mm -hmm. it'll... It'll pull this red from, like, its higher saturation... Over to more of a pink. And that subtle all difference right, like will mean that it's all... Your colors look a little bit better together. I like that. I need the Becca King logo. Just a quick... Just a quick little art tip for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I flew up. Don't throw up! 
B K. I'm oh, sorry. Burger um, King. <laughs> um, I need you to understand the funniest way I remember today was July 4th. Mm. So, uh, um, so, uh, Epic updated the Fortnite item shop and put Captain America back in. And I was like, huh, finally, they put Steve back in the item shop. I wonder what happened. But what's today's date? Uh, it's his birthday. Sees that it, sees that it's July 4th. Oh, it's his day. <laughs> so, um. Uh, happy Steve Rogers Day, guys. <laughs> happy Steve Rogers Day. <laughs> Thank you, Fortnite, for reminding me what day on the calendar it was. Excited. Tomorrow is book date. Good. Sorry. Why? Why are they setting off fireworks in the middle of the day? Now that you bring that up, yeah. I don't fucking know. You can't even fucking see them, and they're setting off like the industrial grade ones. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh. And then there's Chunky. He's dead. <laughs> He's Ooh. dead. Chunky's, Chunky's dead. dead. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Do you have Animal Crossing? I do, but I haven't played it in a very long time. Me neither. <laughs> I've thought about restarting my island. I had to. Well, yeah, you. Well, yeah, you had your shit stolen. It's my same data. What's so annoying? You know what's so annoying? What's so annoying is that um, fun fact, uh, Nintendo. Switch will uh, will upload you, some of your save data. It will upload your save data to a cloud, so that when you get a new Switch, you can import your data. Mm -hmm. Um, and basically all of my games, the save data was there, except for Animal Crossing, I guess. Cause like I, fuck me, I guess. Fuck me specifically. So I gotta go find Raymond and Judy again. I like pay, that little cat. Could pay funny money for the cat. I could. To be fair, there's like a website where you can get like like 300 Nook Mile tickets for like one pound. <laughs> like one pound fifty and a bag of chips. You know what I mean? Mm hmm It is like disgustingly cheap. But I have to like, I'm gonna like... I'm time skipping at the moment so I can just level up my fucking... Island as quickly as possible. Thank you, Raxman artist. I'm doing my best. What happened? Ah, uh, just told me keep, to keep. Yeah, it. like. Keep, yeah, keep up the great work. Obviously, yes. Was... I got I... such a fucking so. Uh, I got such. How a... many have you done? I'm uh, sorry. total. I don't know. How many of you? Did... Wait, okay. I know you did 12 the first day. How many did you, did you do the second day? Uh, I did eight the second day. Okay, so 20. How many did you do yesterday? I think I did six, seven. Let me check. I've been. I, Wait, on. you know what? I've been. I've been posting them in our group chat. Let me see. Uh, I did. I'm gonna see what you posted. I'm just gonna count. Yeah, I did six more Two. yesterday. Six. 12, 24, 30. I forgot how to count. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, this is la that's the last one you did. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So six, 12, 18, 24, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've done 29 already. 30, I just finished this one. 30. I am finishing. I so I was so proud of myself. It sounds so pathetic now. So like I've just finished my sixth one. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm just we've, finishing. We've talked about this. I'm output Georg. I am an outlier, and I'm not to be counted. Well, to be fair, I could I could output. I just I don't know. My brain 
I had to have and that. I had a cool guy. I've had to have that phrase explained to me, the Gaylord thing. Oh. Okay. Or however you say it. Gaylord. Yeah, that thing. Um, I had Brooke had to explain that shit to me. Wrong layer. Because there was because like during um. Yeah, no, like, she told Brooke me the, the she told me the story. Yeah, nah, because and it was yeah. like apparently I, she had to explain what that was because I had no idea what the heck that meant because I guess I I'm not well versed in uh in the lingo I guess yeah but yeah like I like I was saying before I because uh when you said you're the, you're the ally this is the thing I can output I can output for sure for definite like i can't output like that like last night i was i was like oh i'm just gonna do like two a day and i'm just not gonna, I'm gonna be chill with it i just want to beat my high school uh from last year which was my 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 tech because i've been so ep sleep at uh, like 20 22 mm -hmm. uh 2022 i got covid so i only did like four um and then 2023 i only did 12 so as long as i beat 12 i'm happy with myself you right. know what i mean um, and I'm absolutely gonna beat 12, because I'm halfway- I'm halfway there already, and it's the fourth day. Um, but I- last night, I was like, oh, I might just, like, I spent a lot of time on one of them, so I'm just gonna, like, sleep, I think, and then I'll just do three tomorrow. And then I saw a character, and I was like, that's so cute! And literally in 20 minutes, I had finished an attack. So, I, I definitely can do it if I wanted to. I'm just- I don't know. It's just not good for you. <laughs> no, it's, I'd, like, I'd be fine. I just, I just didn't. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just chilling. I'm gonna pick. It's probably gonna be, it's either gonna be this year or next year. It, probably next year, because then I'll have, like, the prep time, in quotation marks. But I'm, I'm like, uh, prep time in the sense of, like, emotionally <laughs> preparing for it. But I'm, I'm definitely gonna like, output the shit out of it. I wonder... You should meet- you should meet my friend Saragon. They are actually... insane. I think their username is Saragon Void. yeah. Saragon Void. Um, you wanna know... He started in 2020, do you wanna know how many attacks? Hmm. He did? Okay, I just- 85? 2020. 105 attacks. I highballed that! A rival. 2021. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. We're still going. 2021. Uh, 126. Mm-hmm. 2022. 130. And 130. Uh, and then 2023. 136. A rival. Yeah. So, uh, it, he's always said that, like, oh, you know, like, as long as I get, like... He was like, oh, as long as I get at least six more than my high score, I'm happy. So I think he's getting for 142 this year. Jesus. How many has he done already? I'm going to go check. Jesus Christ. Oh, actually. Oh, he, you've done more so far. <laughs> nice. He's dead. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, my power oh, is in crackhead. My power is incalculable. He's only done 19 so far, but like, hold on. Let me post, let me put, let me put it in, I'll put it in no bike. So you can see, this is like- The silliest voice I can, gift wizard it is. Okay, Google, set a timer for two minutes. The gift wizard. I'm here to make you feel better today, bun bun hello. Yeah. 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 Uh, every time. Every time you forget the gift, gift wizard, I'm always reminded that uh, the the jester and the gift would would, would we be would be best friends. Oh, they would. He'd he'd love them. Besties. It's like it's literally that the adventure zone bit. It's like, oh darling, it's it's so nice to find someone who talks normal. It's so good to finally see someone who else is fairly normal. Who fucking talks normal. It's wonderful. 
Let's talk the most shit. I love, uh, one of the great things about consistently being in Crafty's games is that there's a good chunk of you whose first exposure to the way that I might characters was the Gift Wizard, and I don't know how to stress to you how much of a fucking outlier the Gift Wizard is. I want I anyone, went, anyone who's ever... I went, oh, I wanted to be the silly character this time. I'm like, I want to be the funny meme. I want to be Chuckles the Clown. Well, I, I, on the, on, uh, as, on the uh, flip side, I want everyone to know that if you did uh, watch uh, the SMP at the time and witness the jester, I just want you to know that motherfucker's not an outlier. I'm just like that. It's true, he is. Did you know that that was, that was, that was dead, at, like the origin of the jester, what, it wasn't planned? I, cause, cause, cause when I joined for the first time, Molly was like, you can like have a thing if you want, like you can be an actual person, like, you know, you, if you want to play like survival with everyone else, you can. And I was like, mm, no, <laughs> cause I hate survival mode, fun fact. Um, so I was basically like, give, just, can I just have creative? And I'm not gonna interact with anyone. I'm just gonna like, I'm literally just gonna go okay, off Google, stop. random place. I'm, I was like, I'm literally just gonna go off at a random place. I'm gonna build some ominous shit, and I'm not gonna, and then like wait for people to find it. And if anyone encounters me in the wild, I'll just make up shit. Like I'll just do a stupid voice and make up shit. And that just so ha it just so happened that the the Minecraft skin I was wearing at the time was like a little jester thing. Um, and then. As, as it turns out, Susie Doodletones finds me. Um, and and I turn around, and the first voice that came out of my, my mouth was, Yes, hello, Susie Doodletones, it's me, the jester, hello. And that was the start of a absolute fucking crackhead of a character. I was like, I, we, 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 I was like, oh, my thing? What do I do? Well, I worship Satan. That was the first thing out of my mouth, and we stuck to it. I was like, yes, we worship Cat Satan. Also, I hear voices, and shut your mouth, basically. Don't so, you that's... lecture me with your two-dollar haircut? So, basically, like, it was like, when put under pr I, I learned that day that when put under pressure to create a character in an instant, I will just go German for no reason. <laughs> A hell of a default. I'll just go weird German clown Satanist. Because Yeah. That just appears Oh my one of my favorites is uh the bone lady. She just fucking emerged from me one day. I love her too much. I thought my everyone's defaults is just the most cracked out shit. Because I I I wasn't gonna be put law. Like, I did not want to be, I wasn't planning to be law, I just wanted to fuck about. Like, I literally, I didn't expect to be, like, a law prevalent character, which is hysterical. Um, you know, in, in saying it fucking... in, in hindsight. Oh, no, ironically, have huh? I talked about the bone lady on stream? I don't oh, think so. So, okay, the bone lady was a D&D uh, a &D NPC. I need a picture, so, so you have an image. Uh... Hell That's yeah. a great start. So she's an Arakakra. I love Arakakras. So uh, ah, she's one of these. She's I don't know a, what that means. She's but... a, uh, they're she's bird a people. Bird. They're bird people. Uh, a little bit. She was specifically uh, one of these. She's a red bearded vulture. Oh, she's just like me for real. Um, and I, <laughs> so she's part of another character's, uh, uh, caravan, and, uh, they went to go buy something from her, and what escaped me in the moment was, hello, yes, I sell you bonds. <laughs> yes! Cause why is it the the weird fucking like ethereal accents that come out of you when when you have to make a character on the spot? Like what the fuck is with that? Well, because the bit the bit was that she was selling like because bearded vulture. So fun I fact, 
uh, bearded vultures eat bones. Uh, like they whole. Can. Like they yeah. They smash them on rocks and then they eat them whole, which is uh, strange. Which is a strange thing for birds to do. Uh, Me too. So I'm I was like, so she's selling. I was like, so she's selling uh, bone trinkets. And so they were like, what do you have? And she goes, well, I've many a good things, many good bones. I have for you pseudo dragon bones from the Feywild. They are for fortune telling. If if Sir Clairvoyant would like bonds, they're good for fortune telling. And I was like, they give you a, I was, and I was just bullshitting. I'm like, they'll give you a plus two for your divination checks. And she's like, I sell, I sell bones for eating. No, like you can't eat bones solid. And she goes, no, not you. You cannot. I can. But I sell you bones. You take. Melted. No, you take. You put into, you put into the good soup. You boil, you get the good broth. This stunning, thank you. Give me, give me fifty. This is how you get the good stock. Ah, yes. Sold one of, uh, sold one of our uh, the fighters. Like one of the martial classes bought a fucking moose fever, and they used it as a, and they use it as a club. That's the start of them. Yeah, I don't know why the voice my brain defaulted to was, uh... See? No, first of all, don't use that word. They're Romani, that's not the right... But also, my why my voice defaulted to, Ah, yes, aid boy! <laughs> why I defaulted to Rolf and his vaguely Eastern European accent. I just, like, make noises and eventually the character will make itself like i had <laughs> oh my god the stupidest fucking character i've ever written in my life i need to go i need, actually need to go I'm, I'm literally getting the file up just so i can read you word for word for word what i wrote down because um where i mean I... basically oh, any, you don't have to worry about me and grilled drugs i don't eat really as a as a slime as an ooze of a varying variety. I'm vaguely acidic, so I don't really have a sense of taste. I can't really taste okay. anything. You just stick it inside of my face and it eventually dissolves and I get the nutrients. Life has many daughters, Edba. <laughs> Can I marry the bone lady? I need to draw the bone lady. She never got a name. Uh, just, she, that's her legal name. First name the, the, middle name Bone, bone. last, name, last lady. name Lady. You don't want to know. You don't know what you don't want to know about her second middle name. My real name is difficult for you to pronounce without beak. <laughs> uh, that's a, see. That's a trap you never want to go down. Because I said something like that before. In a, in a campaign, and my players immediately went, no, 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 just, like, just say it, and we're, uh, you know, just say it anyway, and I was like, you fucking... They will make you try and pronounce it anyway, just to see you do it, and humiliate yourself. Don't put yourself in the position to ever be humiliated. My favorite was, um, we went playing for, like, a year and a half before, uh, the people I was playing with realized that Father Stone was not that character's legal name. <laughs> he was I like, know. do you really think that's the that's the name on my birth certificate? And they were like, yeah. My parents' name is Stone. And it's like, like the siren. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. Well, it, They're like, well, it's the only thing that anyone ever calls you. And he goes, well, yeah, because it's like... Well, it's a, a nickname. It, it's a Stupid. nickname. Well, hey, it's, yeah, he's like, it's a nickname. And they're like, well, then, what is your real name? And he goes, my, my real name's Tamet. And they're like, oh my God. why do you go by Father Stone then? And he goes, well, uh, because I'm a preacher and I'm made out of rocks. Because he's an Earth Ganazi. Yeah. And they're like, then well, that's a dope fucking name. 
And he's like, well, why don't people, why don't you introduce yourself as Tiamat? And he goes, because most of the time people will try and say it and it's just a more cumbersome name for them to say and they default to it anyway. You're not going to call me that going forward. And they're like, no, no, we won't. And he's like, yeah. And that's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. That's, it's so funny because like, um, I had a similar thing with, um, my character the Siren, because she's a monster hunter, um, and that was part of the organization, is like, all of the, like, to give examples of the names in there, there's like, the Mist, the Maelstrom, the Siren, mm -hmm. uh, the Arachnid, the, Go the Goliath, the Golem, blah blah blah, whatever. Um, they've all got monster names, except for the main three, who are, uh, the Mist, the Messenger, and the Maelstrom. Mm -hmm. They're the only ones who don't have monster names for a reason. But um, I distinctly remember like it was me and one of the other PCs, and they were like bickering because that's what they do. They bicker like an old married couple. Like, Talk about it, you, 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 your stupid fucking name, Atlantis. And he was like, um, at least, yeah, at least my pa at least my parents didn't name me the Siren. And she was like, do you think that's my real fucking legal name? You stupid motherfucker. You think my you think my mama and papa gave birth to me and went mm, yeah the siren, you stupid bitch. Do you think my last name is Siren? It's like, did you think? Do wait, you think she, my legal like first whole, name is the? She that was like like she was like wait hold on we gotta get the clarifying details here. Did you think my name was Siren or did you think my name was the? He was like he was like I didn't mean it like that. And she's like you literally just said it. What did you mean it like uh, that? He's like, I don't know. You're from like a different place entirely. I thought it was normal. She's like, you think naming someone the is normal? We're not that different. You live in fucking <laughs> you live in fucking Tallahassee, and I live in Tennessee. My fucking they're, uh, they're very fun. It's so fucking good. I also I loved the uh. The eventual reveal of, um... Okay, so spoilers for Waterdeep Dragon Heist. <laughs> um... I don't know what that is, but fuck yeah. It's a module in D&D. Uh, &D. uh, one of the Am I supposed to care about those? Uh, maybe. I care. I like my game. I, like I care. No, it's just because I exclusively play D&D &D for, like, custom homebrew shit, so I don't have any knowledge or interest in the pre-made stuff. I like some of it. I like Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Uh, but I've been running uh, Dragon Heist for Crafty for a while, just in for a personal game. Uh, Alright. And they finally learned... So there's a character that you meet uh, who's right next to the, uh, the mansion that you get. And his name is Vincent yeah. Trent. His name is Vincent Trench. Uh, and he's a detective. They don't describe him in the book. I've drawn him before. I need to draw him again. Um, hang on, let me grab the art I did of him. For a for for a for a point. Uh I worked really hard to make sure that when I show you both designs, you'll be like, you'll look at it and be like, that doesn't look like anything. And then I'll show you what he actually is. And you'll be like, oh, God damn it. Oh, God. That's good. Uh, but he looks like, he looks like this. This is him. Oh, wait, where are you? This is Crafty's character. Oh, oh my God. I remember this guy. Uh... This is the character Crafty's like playing, a... but this is him. Nah. I remember this guy. Looks like a what? Um No, it's fine. No, I want I want I you don't... I want you to say it, because I want to see if you're right. No. No, I'm probably not gonna be. I no, my immediate thought I was like, oh my god, he looks like a it's like a warthog with the cause the tufts are grey look like horns or like tusks. Well like, that's cool. They're, you know, like a little bit. Oh, he looks like a cat. Yeah, you know what? You know what's is funny? Is he Garfield? No, you know what's funny about that? Is he's one of these. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I was like, I was like, that's either Garfield or just a tiger. Yeah, do you see it now? I was like, 
I do, I do. <laughs> I wish, I'm sorry I called him a warthog. You can't, it's so fucking funny, because I showed it to them, and they were like, damn, made him, like, funny cat, and I'm like, yeah, boy, howdy, isn't that? So anyway, uh, so he's, <laughs> so he's, so he's, so he's a Rakshasa, is what they're called. Um, which, uh, which means that he's a devil. Oh. Uh, but he's, too. he is good aligned. Uh, they don't tell you how or why in the book. Welcome to just welcome to one of just Heaton's, that they are. welcome to Heaton's like favorite problem to have when playing when running modules is that I have to consistently just make shit up because <laughs> like they'll give you like they'll give you like a bunch of random detail for stuff that's like obviously important like here's what this mansion's layout looks like. Uh, here's the way that the XP breakdown is for this quest line, etc, etc. But then there's, like, story details that are things that, like, my players will definitely ask about. And when I'm looking at them, there'll just be nothing. And I'm like, oh, they're gonna ask me about this. I have to figure this the fuck out. So, like, for example, another good example of this was, um, recently they... Uh, bumble fucked their way into dealing with this group of circus ships. And the circus ships are called uh, the the Hellraiser, the Heartbreaker, and the Eyecatcher. And they're like, those don't sound like circus names. And they don't tell you why they're named that. And they're right, they don't. So I was like, uh, so when they're talking to the captain and they brought it up, I just went, uh, it's because we, like, as they were asking me the question I knew they were gonna ask, my brain just defaulted, and it's like, say something stupid, and so I went, uh, well, it's because we, uh, we come, when we come into town, we, uh, we raise a little hell, we break a few hearts, but we always catch the eye. And they were like, oh, clever, and I'm just sitting here like, I made that the fuck up! <laughs> That's amazing, frankly. <laughs> I had to make that the fuck up. Listen, as someone who, who floundered during an entire story arc, pretending like I knew what was inside a box, only to reveal later to people, no, I literally didn't know what was in that box until I ended that storyline. I just was really good at setting it up, though. Um. I was. I was really good at setting it up, actually. Thank you. But, oh. uh... Trench is a really, they're like, oh, he's like a really skilled mage. He must be like a really skilled wizard. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, well, it's because he's made out of magic, but all right. And they kept, the fuckers before the actual reveal kept getting really close to figuring it out. They're like, something's up with him. He's real mysterious. And I'm like, yeah, he sure is. And then they'd, like, not follow through with that. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> Size. My, fav my favorite thing in the world. Um, I just want you to know. If we ever if we ever do the Monster of the Week campaign, mm -hmm. I want you to know that there is a, like, 50-50. It is straight up 50-50. If I'm doing, like, ominous shit, if I'm doing, like, cliffhanger shit, there's a 50-50 chance I'm either putting you on, like, act, like I actually have an idea of what I'm doing, and I've meticulously planned down to the letter, or I have literally fucking nothing. Oh yeah, welcome to being a dungeon master. Fucking, uh, I... my favorite one was, uh, oh god, it's fucking Zaldar. Okay, so, so in the book, in the fucking, in the Waterdeep Dragon Heist book, a random side quest that you can just give your players is that they have to get a brass baby dragon out of- why is he good aligned? That's a good fucking question! The book doesn't tell you I made something up. I saw I made it the fuck up. Like, these fucking, like, chaotic evil- or no, I think they're neutral evil, uh, things. They're like, nope, he's good aligned, he's cool actually. And I was like, okay, why? Because my players are going to ask. And the book is like, lol, XD. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So, <laughs> raw, raw XD. so I said that when he, uh, 
when he first came to the material plane, he got arrested a bunch. Uh, and was going to be killed by a group of adventurers, but he had a mentor who was a different grizzled old film noir detective who saw good in him nice. and saw the and saw potential for all people. He's like, everyone deserves a chance to be good, devil or not. And that stuck with him. And then he was killed while investigating a case, and he was like, damn, he was right, though. Uh, everyone has the capacity to learn to be good, including me, and so he became a better person, because that's the kind of shit I love. And my players were like, that's so cool, and I'm like, <laughs> good. Um. Because I made it the fuck up. Because I made it the fuck up. But fucking Zalthar, this fucking dragon, they're like, yeah, there's this baby dragon. Uh, that's just vibing in the bay in Waterdeep. And the, uh, the guards want you to get rid of it. And I'm sitting there staring at that. Now, to you, you may be like, oh, dealing with a dragon. This is a D&D &D game. Why is that strange? Um, well, see, the thing about that is that it is a canonical fact. There is a dragon-proof barrier around Waterdeep. How the fuck did that did that little guy get in there? <laughs> it's just so little. And so I'm sitting there. Uh, so I'm sitting there running this side quest because I was like, I want to be a baby dragon, sure. And the first thing they do is like, how the fuck did he get in here? How did he get past the barrier? And my brain went, I didn't think about that. Oh shit. I did. I didn't even think about it. I it it completely fucking slipped my mind, and I was like. And I'm like, well, would he know? And I'm like, no, he wouldn't know. So I so I just bullshit some things, and they were like, oh, you know what I'll bet he did? They're like, I bet he snuck in underneath a boat. And I was like, yup, you guys figured yep. it out. You're so smart. He snuck <laughs> in under a boat. That's totally, you're so right. I can't believe you guys figured out my fucking dragon puzzle. But, like, fucking, uh, so now he's supposed, this is my favorite bit, right? Is he supposed to be just a funny little side quest? But naturally, they were like, baby, we love him. This is our son now. Oh, my God. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> so my name is Zalthar, and I'm... I'm just a little guy. I've I've only uh, the party had to teach me how to use uh, my breath weapons, and I may or may not have accidentally paralyzed the wizard. It was an accident, and I hope he's still not mad at me. But they're my first real friends. I'm I love them so much. They're my best friends. Unironically, uh, unironically, I made uh, Crafty and Cherry cry. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, because I, so what they did was, oh, okay, little guy voice, okay, okay, Google, set a timer for two minutes. Okay, Google, set a timer for two minutes. Okay. So what I did was, I set, um, I set a funny little, little thing, right? Where, like I said, he was just, he's just a little baby, he's just a little guy, uh, so he, he didn't know how to use his breath weapon yet. So they had to teach him because they needed to get dragon lightning in a bottle for a different side quest. And so they got him, uh, they made him a sweater so that he could get a, covered in static electricity so that it would help him breathe it out. Oh, stop. That's so cute. So they made him a sweater and he looked at them and he went... Can I keep it? And they were like, yeah, absolutely, you can keep it. And so I ended the session by letting them know, I'm like, he uh, he takes his new sweater and he uses his magic to put it inside of a bubble so it doesn't get wet. And he takes it underwater back to the little cave that he's been staying in. And he opens it up and he folds it up very nice and careful and gentle. And he puts it on top of his hoard pile, a gift from his first real friends. Oh my god! Go fuck yourself. And I went, yeah! 
I can hear them cry. I can, I can just hear Crafty crying. Yeah, like, both, oh. both Crafty oh. and Cherry welled up. They started tearing up, and they're like, this is so cute. I love him so much. And so they've been, and so ever since they've been like, we have to take care of Zalthar no matter what. We have to make sure he's okay. <laughs> protect. The mint's protected. He's just a little guy. Oh, so guys, Jesus. They almost took him down. They almost brought him back to their house through the sewers so they could make sure that he wasn't going to get preyed on by adventurers. Okay, Google. Stop. But that would have been a very bad idea, and so I'm glad that they didn't do that. Yeah. The Xanathar Guild uh, operates in the sewers, and they were uh, they would have swiped that baby dragon so fast. Yoink. But they were smart about that, and they were like, oh, that's like a long way. And I'm like, yup, it's like... Uh, it would be, like, a couple miles through the... And you wouldn't be able to follow him, and they're like, Oh, well, we can't do that, because if we can't keep an eye on him, then what's the fucking point? And I'm like, okay, thank fucking God. <laughs> we must keep close eye on Babu. On the Babu. And he's doing okay for himself so far. He's helping them catch a criminal right now. That's nice. Also, happy 4th of July to everybody. Happy 4th of July. Happy birthday, Loudon. I would oh, say happy it's... happy Loudon Day. Thank you. Thank you very oh much. God, happy birthday. I will I will now yeah. assume my I will now assume my position as your table. Anyway, um Perfect. I got some sushi. Anyway. The little guy yeah, plus nope. gift wizard voice? That'd be I can That would be I, I don't can... think you could. Your ability for voice acting is amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, I can try? So the, the gift wizard is in here. And then this is Zalthar, so we did be... Oh, I don't... <laughs> I think it'd be something like this, then. I think this would be... This would be the combination of both, I think. There's a couple of things I do to make the baby voice is a little crispier, so I don't think I can really quite get there, but I think this is I think this is as close as it'll get. Ooh, that That makes my vocal cords tight. Day. I'm waiting for the day he gets to do a DVD session with the with the creators behind Chuckles the Claw. Wow. I'd love oh, that! Um, I would, I'd, oh my god, I would love that so much. The the very same D&D &D group and you get a collab together and y'all do your own adventure. Adventure. <laughs> Jeff the Chuckle to come back. Do it. Have to deal with the gift wizard. Oh my god. He's so great. Which oh no, happen, I would- uh, I unleash Vahalis on them, because Vahalis would be great for that, of like... So did you know- what's the fucking- hang on, I have to find the copy pasta again. I've drawn him saying it. Oh my god. Um... Because it's- it's the perfect, like, <laughs> encapsulation of his character. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. Do you know how many bones the human body has? It's 206. We start with 369 when we're babies, but they fuse. Wouldn't you want to go back? Have as many bones as a baby? What if I could help you? Six. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Later on today, I'm going to be... Oh, well, besides that... Uh, barbecue! That's gonna be a barbecue. thing I'm doing. Hey, uh, Loudon. Um, but yeah, can, yeah, I ask yeah. you, can I ask you a question? Uh, of course. Okay, um... So this is a duo question, but I need to ask two things. 
Cool. One. How familiar familiar are you with the with uh, Frank West from Dead Rising? Pretty familiar. Okay, good. Second question. If you were in charge of this, would Frank be allowed to go to the cookout? <laughs> because apparently, uh, that's not my jurisdiction, so I need to ask you. Okay. Uh, let's see. So far, the answer has been no. <laughs> see, and I feel like that's that's selling Frank short, personally. <laughs> Personally, if it were yes. me, I wouldn't stand for that. Frank would be allowed to the cookout, but he's only bringing the cups and ice. Yeah, Frank. Oh, yeah, Frank is not allowed to bring food. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> he's, bringing, he's bringing the condiments. He's bringing the cups and the ice. That's all he's bringing. But he's allowed to the cookout. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Love you, mysterious bone <laughs> subtraction. Well, your bones don't subtract; they fuse together. It's why, what? like. Some of your, um, some of your bones, you'll see, like, the fissure marks in them, where, like, like, if you look at a skeleton, it'll look like they have cracks. It's because those used to be separate bones, but they fuse together as you grow up. What the fuck? That's why you have to go back. That's why it's, do you want to go back? Uh, I need to throw my trash away. He's not invited to the Mexican street fair. Yeah. What the fuck did Frank West do to your chat, Heathen? I don't know. <laughs> he's not invited to. The, he's not invited to the quinceanera. <laughs> he's not invited to the quinceanera. No. I gotta throw my trash away. Give me one moment. I like how Danica is like. What is Frank West? He is innocent. What has Frank done to the POC community that y'all have decided? <laughs> He's not invited. He's not invited to St. Vagans. God. Am I invited to the Mexican Street Fair, Daedalus? I think that's a given. I'd hope so. I don't know if I find that as a given. I don't know. I might be too white. Who knows? Right, well, back. I'm gonna answer. Well, here's a question I'll answer. Am I invited to the Mexican Street Fair? I can't see chat, so. <laughs> and I, am I he poisoned our water supply, burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses. <laughs> Damn, that wasn't him. That was the. Anyway, you know what? We 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 all go there. Yeah, I am invited to the Mexican street fair. Also, and I. The... Um, judge jury. You can claim all you want. But he's also covered wars and saved 54 people from a zombie infestation in a mall. So, I don't know, dog. Listen, you can be a good person and not invited to the cookout. Yeah. Well, Loudon said he what? Loudon said he could bring the cups out. As long as you don't eat the tamales wrong. <laughs> well, oh, no. I, no, I'm only going to do it in front of Mortis out of spite. Okay, my brain was still in the fucking my brain was still on the previous conversation, so I had, so I got like the mental image of Frank West trying to figure out how to eat a tamale. I will do it on, <laughs> on my birthday if I find a good Mexican place. I'll get a tamale just so that I can bite into the corn husk in front of Dio. <laughs> oh my fucking god! I disown you. I would disown you, and I'm not even. I'm Listen. not even Latino. And I would <laughs> I thought that because you cooked it with the rest of the food, that meant, because he's like, well, you, do you just go around eating corn husks? I'm like, no, but I figured if you cook it, if it is a part of a food, and you cook it with the rest of the food, that cooking it then makes it edible. I wouldn't eat raw beef either, but once you cook it, it becomes edible. Yeah, no, trust me, a lot of people... To this day, there are still some people that have no idea what a tamale what a tamale is, and they don't they don't know how to a tamale. There are still people I, out there that are like that. Um. So, uh, so um. <laughs> so that leads me to my my next question. Uh, what is the tamale? So there. Uh, 
they're uh, Mexican food. You, they're, uh, okay. Think of them as being uh, burrito adjacent. So like okay. the, the structure of a burrito kind of, but you wrap them in uh, corn husk and steam them. Oh, uh -huh. oh, that sounds good. Yeah, they're really good. So, uh, they're but, amazing. but you're not supposed to eat the corn husks. Right. But I thought that because you cooked them with the rest of the food, that once you cooked them, they became edible. No. Which, <laughs> learn the hard way, no. <laughs> Which I, well, yeah, I did. Because fucking all of my... Uh, fucking Latino friends, and some I didn't know were Latino, started making fun of me! <laughs> hadn't, gotten a, hadn't gotten a fucking I DM know, from Serafina in months, and she just DMs me and is like, You eat fucking tamales with it! And I'm like, Who told you?! <laughs> I told, uh, I told Dio, I want to try, uh, um, con leche, I think they're called? The, the pastries. Yeah, the pastries. Oh, tres leche? Tres or... leche, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the fuck? Tres leche is a... a milk cake. I know it's a... Ooh. No, then that's, then that's not it. The, uh... The one that, like, uh, uh, conchas are one of them as well. It's like a term for... It's like snapping spaghetti to fit in the... <gasps> I watched Justin. I could be wrong, but... I saw him take the spaghetti out of the box, and I watched him put it in... I'm like, if you fucking, bur if you fucking break that, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna break your bones. Don't you break that in half. And he's like, w why? And I'm like, hey, no. Question. Rice. Can you wash your rice? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank God. Yeah, you wash your rice. Uh, <laughs> you run out. You run water over it until the water runs clear. Yes. I I like the way that Tres Leches tastes, but I don't like the texture. It gets soggy. But it's so good. It's really good, but it, it does. It gets a little soggy. I do not like yeah. when it becomes soggy. Terrible. All right. Well, I have made it to my destination. Have a good rest good of your you. birthday. I'll see y'all later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um... <laughs> I'm being DM'd, what now? Oh, I thought I was getting yelled at. No, was it one of the mil was it one of the- was it the daily free servers at you at the same time- at everyone at the same time and you have to clear out that notification? Traditionally. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, never had Mexican food after watching Bake Off, I might try- <laughs> Pico the calorie. <laughs> That's so wrong. That's so very incorrect. That's like the wrongest way I've ever seen Pico de Gallo written ever. I fucking really love Pico de Gallo though. It's so good. Didn't know I liked guacamole until I moved here. Uh and then discovered that I liked it a lot. Then again, I've uh, apparently never had real Mexican food until I moved here either, so. And I trust the clean read of my Mexican friends to be like, no, you, you didn't. And I was like, okay, you're probably right. Happens. See, it. I. I just love food. I know I had, I have a 
good bet that I had like genuine Mexican food as a as a as a young kid because my ass was born in Texas. So there's a pretty safe bet. I'm from Minnesota. I probably didn't. See, I just wish that I had spent more time in my youth in Texas rather than spending the majority of my adolescence and in the in bum-ass Oklahoma. So glad I'm not there anymore. People want to talk about, like, Ohio being, like, the state by which the non-Euclidean entities live, but I think, like, Idaho, the Dakotas, and Oklahoma are more... Yeah, no, I believe like, that. Having driven through the Dakotas, there's, like... There's nothing, dog. The biggest dread every Momocon is having to do the 20 hour drive and having to drive through fucking Kansas to get the Georgia. Did you Absolutely okay, fun the fact, worst part of the whole trip? Uh, did you know that there is a, uh, I believe, a mental disorder that is unique to that area? Really now. Uh, so for people like me who come from, like, forested areas, if you go through areas of, like, I don't remember what the fuck it's called. There is a technical term for it. But there's a term for when you go into, like, wide open, like, field areas, and it gives you, like, panic attacks because you're used to not being able to see in every direction. This is bullshit! Slenderman can't hide here, what the fuck? Hello, dorky boy, oh, welcome to chat. Arting the fight or fighting the art? Uh, today we're arting the fight. I'm- I'm not having- I'm not having a day in which I am fighting the art. I hate that I- that you brought up a forested area. My first stop was to make a fucking Slenderman joke. In case you needed any proof of- the kind of person I was in middle school, um. You know what they say, if love- if our love is tragedy, then why are you my roommate? Um, anyway. And all that. Yeah, yeah. If you know, you know, Chad. If you know, you know. Um. I know. I know you know. Prairie Madness, isn't it? You're right! I think that's neat. Because, like, it's the... It's the remnants of your monkey brain being, like, so used to... Uh, an environment that the minute that, like, your environment drastically changes, you're like, uh, Fucking what? Yeah, no, like, I lived in... And... In Funny, Oklahoma for years, that it took me a solid few months since when I first moved over here to Funny Mountain Land to get used to the sight of mountains in the distance, which looks amazing, by the way. I want to put that one out there. It's, it's amazing, and I'm glad I'm here. Um, I'm also glad I'm here because I'm not in a red state anymore. Um, anyway. But, like, it's like that for me, where, like, driving through, especially um, if you drive through, like, uh, southern Minnesota in the winter, that shit is genuinely really unsettling especially at night because southern minnesota is like that it's mostly cornfields um and it's so spooky when it's all like pure white and solid and flat it really does just have this horrible like non-euclidean quality to it where like i keep expecting something to come barreling out of the woods at, like, top speed, and there's nothing you can do to get away from it. On today's <sighs> episode of, uh, I do horror things and, and live in constant fear, I am the second coming of H.P. Lovecraft, except I'm not racist. I'm H-Craft, but without the racism. Oh, I don't want to cut this layer. What are you talking about? 
Don't be stupid. Remember when all the corn was driving through southern Ohio? It's so fucking scary. Being on a prairie makes me feel like a large bird is going to swoop down and get me. I can't say I relate to that, but I get it. That is not something I have experienced, but you're right, it does con- I can totally picture that. That's what I mean, though, right? Is like, it feels like something very large is going to just get you. You're so fucking vulnerable. Me when I fucking get you moment. You're so right. No, I'm constantly haunted by, uh... By the whispers from the beyond. That'll happen to you when you're, uh... When you're an eldritch monstrosity, but the difference is that I've gotten used to it, and Mortis is a big scaredy cat. It's like how I crave woods time. Mortis just doesn't understand my, uh, my primal desire to- for woods time. I am disintegrating! Oh, good any... luck. It has been, fucking what, four days, and I'm still working on the card for Art Fight. Fucking owned. Look, I, I told, I've told you some of you before that I am slow at this. I suck at it a lot. <laughs> Listen, you go at your own speed. But I don't want to go this speed. I want to go fast. I want to be sanic. I want to um, shift in a high gear. Give me that maximum overdrive. Then you've joined the right stream. That maximum Hell yeah. sunset. That's maximum sunset overdrive. You up? Uh, sunset yellow overdrive. <laughs> Keaton is drawn to the woods. As someone in a state that has at least one mountain visible in the distance, I actually kind of get it. It was weird going through the Midwest and visiting Florida and not seeing any mountains to set as a landmark. Yeah, it's weird. It's you. You think that, like, I was like, that sounds fucking stupid. The fucking, the pioneers were cringe. And then I thought about how anxious it makes me to drive through uh, certain parts of Minnesota when I was a kid. And I'm like, oh no, damn, wait a minute. They might be fucking onto something. Mm. Prairie Madness okay, might not only be real. Here we go. Prairie Madness might not only be real, but based. go. I'm falling asleep in my chair actively, so I'm going to dip out for now. Go to the Have a nice. Good night. Have a... I'm not going to sleep because I don't want to fuck up my sleep schedule, but I'm going to lie down and play Animal Crossing until I, until I pass out. Go for it. So, Please. have a nice day. Bye. 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 See you, uh -huh. Sunny. I'm consistently drawn to the fucking woods. The uh, urge... In what way? <laughs> Uh, the primal urge in the middle of the night to just go wander around in the woods is very strong. It, it's mm. it's a lot like when I, during uh, the last Pokemon Coliseum stream, was before I decided I enjoyed myself and didn't want to punish myself anymore. Um, I made a whole joke about how I'm like I I feel sometimes feel like that one like TikTok audio where it's like I don't need to touch grass, I need to touch the sea. Man, I wish the woods were more interesting around my area. There's just like I'm... a there's like a railroad right next to the neighborhood, so like the whole patch of wilderness is just kind of super small. Because despite being despite living my entire life in landlocked states, um I love beach aesthetics and tropical shit. So uh, like as somebody who lived in the land of 10,000 lakes 
for her whole life. I miss swimming regularly on a regular basis, and now every time I go outside to take care of the chicken in the morning, my brain's like, I want to go to the lake. I want to go like, to the water. Literally, I want to go into the sea. I want to go into the well, sea. I forgot. I want to like, go into the sea. I want to go into the like, ocean. <laughs> like I was like, I think about it so much of my er, of like. So much of my thought process, despite, you know, the whole, like, funny cyber tech aesthetic, a lot of the times I've realized a number of my interests are in relation to oceany things. Like, uh, for example, uh, one of, uh, I was, I was very much the pirate autism child, for example. Yeah. And those MFs are surrounded by the, my first, like, my second d tabletop character who I never get to use is a pirate captain, for fuck's sake. I am begging you, anyone who wants to DM a campaign and have me as a character, please, please, please let me play Layla. Anyway. Um. Why did I think you spawned in Canada? It's because of my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I The joke that my dad makes is that we're from, such, we're so, from so far north uh, that we're like, we're not quite in Canada, uh, but if you throw a rock hard enough, you can hear the Canadian apologize when it hits them. <laughs> Uh, which is, a, which is close to my other favorite bit of his, which is, uh, we don't quite live in the middle of nowhere, but you can see it from here. <laughs> and, um, this all, this only got brought up because, um, someone asked me if I was a gym leader, what type, what I specialize in. I'm like, I barely played enough Pokemon games to feel qualified to answer this, but I'm going to say water anyway. Uh, the in-character answer is that... I would be a psychic type gym leader. The real answer is flying. I like birds. Oh, same. Like IRL, I'd be a flying type. In character, I'd on brand it'd just be steel, which doesn't sound as fun. But yeah, nah. Um. Hold on, I'm gonna act actually. I need to DM both and ask him. Something. The block I live on is primarily wooded behind my house. There's one fairly creepy memory of going down there. I have from when I was 12. The wind blowing into some hollowed out trees literally sounded like babies crying. Fucking sick. Fucking, I, uh, we had an owl living in one of the trees back home for a little while when I was a little kid. And they say that, like, you know, they, they tell you that the, the sound that owls make is, ooh. Ooh. And mm -hmm. I always expected, like, like, it's gotta be that, but, like, a, I guess for lack of a better word, a stylized version of that. Uh, no, I was terrified because it sounded like somebody was talking outside my window. Like, uh, literally someone was saying who. <laughs> yeah, and so I was terrified and my mom looked outside and there's just a big ass owl in the tree across the street <laughs> and she's like oh shit do you think there's a fucking druid do you think owls will be the are the animals that could come that would that are the most likely to learn english first well no because other birds already do yeah it's already yeah we already have like crows and parrots uh i miss lucy scary how how well crows have learned how to talk it's miss, so cool I'm, I'm, i miss lucy heat and i miss lucy a lot hmm. i miss my bird tails i miss her a lot unironically yeah yeah my grandma had a whole bunch of birds i miss some of them i have owned four birds in my life uh Only one species does the hoot hoot thing great horn owl the majority of other owls sound like freaking banshee yeah they scream and again, <laughs> Sor and again, Sora's probably the most normal of the birds, because uh, Miranda fought her reflection to the death. Um, <laughs> and Martinez died, and then Martinez died because Lucy fucking murdered her. So uh, oh, Lucy had a body count. It was so funny too, because for the rest of for the rest of Lucy's life, she acted like she didn't just kill another vertical boy. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing about it in hindsight, but it's fucked up. Yeah, animals are freaking savage when you 
think about meanwhile, it. Meanwhile, Sora was just an old parakeet who like who tweeted a lot whenever I put on MCR music. He was normal. Sora was fucking normal. <laughs> he just wanted to chill and listen to MCR. It wasn't hard, okay? I love that name. <laughs> <laughs> I love that their name is Despair the Hedgehog. That is the <laughs> sickest. What? That is the that is the sickest shit in the world. Listen, I'm not gonna <laughs> no lie. Way. When I was combing through, so like I said, what I my my usual like process for finding people to aside from the hit list, which are just people I intentionally choose because I like them. Uh, I fucking I so I'll I'll go on a tag. And because it only shows you one page at a time and then you have to refresh instead of going to the next page because Art Fight's website is... <laughs> um, mm -hmm. It's fucking... Uh, I'll... I'll do it, scroll to the bottom, refresh, scroll to the top, refresh, scroll to the bottom, and then I'll put in the next tag. And sometimes I just pick based on, like, you look like you'd be fun to draw. And then sometimes I scroll through and I look at this character and I'm like, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of these colors. And then I see that the name is fucking Despair Dark Mind the Hedgehog, and I'm like, okay. That like, is oh, it's one of those kind of stuff. That is the coolest and I was like, shit in the world. And I'm world. like, you know what? I I have to give credit to a real one. Let's be so real. That is because, cool. because Cold Steel was taken. That's the so coolest that, name ever, listen, by the that's way. That's so fucking sick. I love that with all of my heart. That's so good. Shout out to Despair, Dark Mind, the Hedgehog. Sh Whoever yeah. made. Shout out to Sinister's art and your and your rad ass Sonic OC. That fucking kicks, <laughs> dude. That's fucking sick. That is so cool, dude. I want to shake your hand. <laughs> listen. Your your power level is simply too high, and I respect that. I was Frankly. like, I saw this, and I'm like, God, you know what? Fuck. <laughs> I just I have such respect for it inherently, because my ass was weak and was like, I'm gonna like, uh, and developed like actual shit because of uh, being afraid. Of being bullied, but you know what? This this rules. You can tell an MF with the an, with a Sonic fan character named Despair the Hedgehog is unafraid, and I love that. <laughs> you are more powerful than I could ever be, and I'm gonna be so real. Really. Enough for real. I wish I had that level of freedom with my. No, I'm saying lack of restraint. I'm. I want to be that free. I want to be that free. This is. Let me real... be cringe. Let me be free. <laughs> this is. This is so free, and I'm so glad for them. That kicks ass. Honestly, yeah. And like the design itself is really cool too. Yeah, it's a really like, good design. On its own, that's awesome. The only thing I would change is I'm not a fan of the colors. I'm I'm a little I'm but I'm also weird and picky about my palettes, so that's That could entirely just be a you thing. Which yeah, could totally just be a me thing. Cause this design is actually really solid. I personally am a big fan of the Xbox color palette going on. It's rad. <laughs> he does look like an Xbox. You're so right. No, he's got the monster energy. <laughs> that I put in the description of the of the attack. I said I'm not gonna pretend I didn't pick him based on name alone. Sick as fuck. I hope you like. <laughs> <laughs> That's rad. That's so cool. Anytime Corvids get brought up, I keep thinking of that time my class went to London and we went to the castle with the crown jewels. The guard told us if all the ravens fly away, England is doomed. They also told us that there was a ghost of a bear roaming the halls. They told us about that too! And they said you have- they legally have to tell the queen if the ravens die. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, I like hey. that. Hey! Hey! And now for something completely different. <laughs> Listen, there's like three varieties of Sonic OC, where some of these are clearly like 
cold steel the hedgehog and i love them <laughs> and i draw them anyway then there's some genuine like precious baby cuties and then there's some in here that are just like bananas i need to fix that Banana the banana hog. <laughs> Bananas the banana hog. Unironically though, I'm pretty sure if there was ever a Sonic character called Bananas, they they make that they make they'd make them a monkey. Bananas the monkey. Absolutely. Like because like Again, my biggest gravitation towards the Sonic IP is the characters. It's why the IDW comics is my beloved. Um and I've noticed that a lot of Sonic characters in canon, their names are like actions. Mm -hmm. Like they're either actions or descriptors. Like, like you look at the IDW characters, for example. Pangle the lemur, Spur the wolf, Surge the tin rack. Like those are, those are descriptor words hmm. and it rules. I like that they're just picking whack ass animals too. Oh no, yeah. Surge is one of my favorite characters in the Sonic franchise now. And she's literally just like a little fucking gremlin shit. And that's why I dig her so much. No, I've not read a lick of the comics. That design goes so hard, though. Oh, Surge looks Sur sick as fuck. Surge is the kind of character where if I had saw, if I saw her when I was like 12, I would have obsessed over her. Absolutely. And I know this, be and I know this, because, and I know this because when I saw her in... In, in my 20s, I obsessed over her. My <laughs> my taste in favorite characters has o has not really changed since I was 12. It's only evolved. Um. You're telling me she's a Sonic character with electricity powers? Damn, I want to... 10 out of 10. I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> I'll take your entire stock. Why is, why is the color picker making his skin lighter? I need to fix that. The banana's shit for me as well. So like, I, I was talking about this with uh, with a Brook and Dio, where they were like, oh, your, uh, your weekday numbers are closer to what I thought they'd be. And I'm like, oh, it's because I can't, it's because I have to stop. And they're like, what? I'm like, well, on the days that I have to stream, uh, I prep the sketches before stream so that way I can know, like, I've got the poses I want and so I can get more done. Um, but streaming, like, wears me the fuck out. So, what I do is I stream for X amount of hours, I prep my sketches, and then I take a break. But it's hard for me when I take a several hour break to get started again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So usually I'll prep about six to eight sketches. I'll only do about five. Um, then once I'm done with those five, I take a break and I come back. I finish what I prepped and then maybe do one more. As opposed to if it's a day where I don't stream, where it's... I wake up, I draw until lunch, I have lunch, I come back upstairs, I draw until dinner, and then I, and then dinner's over, and then I maybe draw a couple more before bed. Damn, you really, damn. I was wrong the other day. That does match my oh, freak shit. Um. <laughs> Listen, I am only a little bit of a profound workaholic. I'm trying to get better about it. A little bit. A little bit, you say. Just a little bit. Well, I've seen you posting the collages of the art fight card so far. You are on point with these. I'm I'm out to I'm in it to fucking win it, Zenny. <laughs> Mama didn't raise no fucking quitters. Yeah, mom my mom didn't raise a quitter either. Uh she I'll tell you what my mom did raise though. Slut? Um, well, yes. She raised... She, she, My mother raised two kids. Uh, one of them was me, who became a slut, and the other became a... And the other became a goth with encyclopedic knowledge on Scooby-Doo. So... Nice. I, I don't know how she ended up with, with these... With this as her children, but... 
take care of yourself, Heaton, or else. Or else what? She hog on my banana till we are removed from the poly <laughs> I am an I am in fact a, a slut. Thank you for noticing, Heaton. I am very flattered you remembered. Um Fucking uh But yeah, I discovered during I think the first art fight that I did. Cause I was like looking for tags and one of the ones that suggested me was Sonic. And so I was like, I'll draw some Sonic OCs. And then I just found that like the anatomy of Sonic characters is really fun for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it became one of my favorite things to do during our fight. I am changed. My output will be closer to normal today because I think I found a system that works a little better. Uh, because you see, if I only prep, if I spend my early morning prepping four sketches, because that's usually about how many I get done, if I prep four sketches, that means I can spend the rest of the morning just attacking. Mm hmm. I also try and pick a theme every day, even though, like, it's prompted by nothing. It's prompted by my marine. I just look at the ones I have saved, and I'm like, do any of these sound appealing? This does. I'll do this today. Uh, just because it helps me with the consistency. A, the autism knows that since these will be, uh, since I'm doing these the way that I am, where I'm giving them, like, subcategory based on the tags I use for the cards... My brain's like, now you have themed days. And I'm like, I don't... What if I don't want to? And they're like, well, then you can pick another theme. If there's only, like... What do I do if there's only, like, two or three in a theme? They'll be like, there won't be. And I'm like, damn, you're right. <laughs> damn, you're right. <laughs> Number, like, 15. Number 15. Heaton's insane. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. It's so like, for example, my usual uh, work week process is I'll probably I'll finish this one, I'll end stream, I'll raid into somebody else, uh, I'll finish the only one I didn't do, and then I'll probably go take a shower and then a nap, and then it'll be dinner time. Damn. It do be like that sometimes. It's dinner time. I keep forgetting that some of them do the old Sonic thing and some of them do the new Sonic thing. Hmm. Where their limbs are the skin tone. And some of them do the old Sonic thing where their limbs are uh, the fur tone. And my brain wants to do the latter, but keeps doing the former. She's a cutie, though. I like... I like this design. Greetings and salutations, Erin Tempest. <laughs> Your next line will be... Your next, <laughs> Your next line will be... To you! Who you? <laughs> your next line will be. How is your? Uh, how is oh your, shit! You right. <laughs> how is your Fourth of July going? Uh, it's a Fourth of July. <laughs> well, you are standing there and standing there and standing there and standing there. I realize. I'm standing there. Standing here. I'm standing I real. here. <laughs> I you were standing here. You were just like me, trying here. to stand here. <laughs> are you doing anything for today, or are you participating in your, uh, in your hatred of Ronald Reagan's America? 
<laughs> well, so you see, um, uh, I celebrated the 4th of July the only way I know how, with a dumb, funny edit on Twitter. Yeah, it was, that I, stand, <laughs> it was what I was referencing, the standing here. Yeah. Yeet. It's literally just... It's just the it's just the montage of the Statue of Liberty just standing there. She do be standing there. Yeah, set to uh, set to Matthew Rising Revengeance is it uh, has to be this way, but every other it, word is replaced with standing here. Speaking of Metal Gear, this is a great reminder to everyone to watch Life Arrow's new Dragon Ball Fighters video. God, that video. Oh yeah, so I showed up funny. on my Twitter. It is, it is, I, I, I got it in my recommended, and now I'm like, oh, I think I have to watch Life Arrow now, shit. I love um, Life Arrow. Cause Wait, I'm, have you been, or is like, no. Just... Cause, cause no. like, oh, I, cause like, I lost my shit watching that new Life Arrow video at the clip, where it's like, it's just like, they're gonna kick me out of my house. They're gonna kick me out of my house. <laughs> Reddit's That's trying to get a jump at the Krusty Krab, that one. In particular, the part where it's like, no, Spongebob, I need this job. They're going to kick me out of my house. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Fucking That's Gary fine. loses his mind. <laughs> I also good. love the bit where Gohan Blanco is only allowed to speak Spanish. <laughs> Bastante. I also love Lego Beerus. I'm a big fan of Lego Beerus. Uh, sh I have not gotten that far in yet. I just uh, found it on the Twitter. You're going. You're gonna love Lego Beerus. <laughs> no, I've been seeing. I was wondering what the clip was. Like I saw the thumbnail of just fucking Lego Beerus. In my recommended. Part, the worst part about the Life Arrow video is that it's made me want to stop everything I'm doing and draw my Dragon Ball fan character interacting with Beerus. Yeah, that's when I'm yeah. Out. When I want to work on the fucking on the. TPC video, that's what I do, is I turn on Life Arrow videos. <laughs> so now I have I gaslight to... into, like, Batman. I freaking curse my childhood. I, I've just kept myself from indulging in making fan characters and shit like that. Oh no. I'm I... reclaiming it in my adulthood, that's the thing. Um, I can't do it, unfortunately. Hell yeah. Uh, it's part oh. of... It is part of my, uh... My background as a library kid. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's funny. Um, see, I'm just cringe. Um, I'm cringe and have no shame. It's why I come on these streams and say the most batshit insane stuff that you couldn't waterboard out of anyone else. Um, You'd be surprised. It, it, it's why there's an entire. It's why there's an entire YouTube short now, where the whole punchline is Ellie coming in, while I'm just casually dropping Danica lore on Heathen. Fair enough. See, okay, I Bun, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you as someone who does not have a sponsorship, but listened to the people who did. Uh, unironically, I can't recommend Opera GX enough for specifically that because what <laughs> I've because it has a picture in picture feature built right in. Okay. So I can. Uh, so what I do is I have is I'm drawing, and I have my, like, YouTube window, like, right here, so I can watch the video while I draw. Yeah, same. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored, but I could be. Sweats, breathes heavily. I want to know how motherfuckers are getting their fucking sponsorships. You think they just ask? They might. I might have to send some shit into MiHoYo and be like, hey, I'm, I have another video that I really want to make about Honkai. Do you want to, like, pay me to do it? That'd be really cool. I just figured the, spon the, I, the sponsor deals would just come to you. I really... I really hope... Uh, speak... If MiHoYo wants to sponsor you uh when they do uh please put in a good word for me i'd like to do, <laughs> I, I, I would i would like to do i would i will gladly i will gladly praise zinless for them because it's actually a lot of fun um oh yeah i still gotta play that sometime looks so cool Man. it absolutely is so cool 
It's better than the last time I got a sponsor. Oh, that's. I use the term loosely. I forgot which one were you going to be sponsored by? It wasn't, um. It's less of a sponsor and more of scam. Uh, oh, right. So, uh. What? So back. So back, um. Oh, I, I never made this public. Uh, no, so, I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Okay, so back when, uh, back in 2017, when I first entered the scene, you remember my video on Lily, yeah? Of course I do. You remember the, the, the follow-up video, yeah, with the TV tropes thing? <coughs> yeah, bless you. At this point, oh, bless you. Uh, so, after, shortly after that, I get an email from Top Buzz, of all people, it's just like, hey, we've noticed your funny little TV tropes video has blown up. Uh, would you consider, would you consider joining us? Hold on, I might still have the email, actually. Hold on. Oh. Primo at Aaron Tempest lore chat. Dang. <laughs> he didn't get the me lore, he didn't get my lore, and now we get, and now he just gonna get some Aaron lore? Shit. Why do we all just drop lo random lore about ourselves on the heated streams? Well, it's, it was completely. The flow of conversation. No, I'm aware, but I just think it's funny. It always happens on heated streams. Listen, if I provide you enough rope to hang yourself with, then I get to do it for content. Well, wait, what? That's, that's not the that's not the word I would use for what I'm about to do. <laughs> Have I hung myself on this stream before? Yes. Oh, anyway, no. I got the email. Phrasing, I know. Carry on. Hey there. Hey, hey. We are from Top Buzz, a content distributing platform which tailors content feed for users worldwide. We'd love to invite you to be one of the first creators to join our Top Buzz Creators program. We offer new revenue stream, ICPM to monetize your videos based on views, larger audience, more views, tech support to sync your history posts with your YouTube and Facebook channel. Join the, our family with the Associated Press, Reuters, Mashable, Little Things, Refinery29, and more. Here is the fast lane for you to link. Uh, here's a fast lane link for you to sign up on Top Buzz, sync your channel, and start monetizing on Top Buzz. <laughs> they sure love their own name, huh? They sure do. Um, so hey, did, you for, was, did you forget our company first. name? We'll say it five more times. Oh, that was the first one. That was the first email I sent. I got from them. Um, there was more. Yeah, this time, uh, this time, uh, some lady named Nancy made a personalized email for me. It was personalized straight. air quotes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this was before the age of AI, so it might as well, it could be. <laughs> it might have just been a form letter that they said was personalized. Yeah, they just kind of copy pasted. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh. There's no Hi. Slenderman here. Hi. Hi, Aaron Tempest. My name is Nancy, and I'm a member of the Top Buzz team. I'm reaching out to you because your Digital Dissections Episode 2 bonus, Dreamy Trolls Plagiarism Hunt on YouTube, really catches our eye. Top Buzz is a platform where we worked hard to build up, and we expect to be an open platform where every creator can share their ideas and find their kindred spirits. Besides, we offer you hard-to-resist profits as long as you create much-viewed content. With more, with more appealing content, you'll receive more views and generate more, more revenues. <laughs> also, you can either contribute several, uh, excuse me, separate content to our platform, or synchronize your blog or channel directly to our platform. Both will generate click-based revenue for you. Right now, we have a special bonus for you to monetize your influence. As long as you sign up to top us via your YouTube account, you will get a sign-up bonus from one to five hundred dollars based on the number of subscribers on from each platform you can also earn a bonus of at least 20 percent of your four of your total 14 day posting earnings starting from your sign up day therefore i would love to invite you to be to become one of our creators and join the top buzz big family we believe that your presence will make top buzz an even better place for content creation you can sign into top buzz via the following fast track link this is the lamest game of Mad Libs I've ever heard. I know, right? It's so <laughs> true. <laughs> it's like, come on. So, uh, I ghosted them. 
like a normal person. Yeah, <laughs> as any as any normal person with a as you should functioning brain cell would. Now here's the funniest thing, right? Uh, the reason why I didn't make this public, um, because I was going, to, I was going to make like a, I was going to like, <laughs> I was going to like uh, make fun of this. I was I was considering throwing it. Um, was like it's giving this story to one chaos five by t. Oh, I can see I can see why that went nowhere. Yeah, because uh, they were doing a video about like flyers and stuff like that, and I was like, oh yeah, this is the perfect thing for that. And uh, yeah, duh. <laughs> you know the lore from there. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls collar, sweats. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how what what dumb horny thing can I say to steer the conversation away from that? The fitness Eddie's. test is a multi-stage robust capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. <laughs> That's life. <laughs> That's life. <laughs> Export my time lapse. Yeah. Export my time lapse. Hell yeah. All right. What a what a day. Then we put that aside right now. And while... it's Wednesday. <laughs> or Thursday. Fuck. I Damn was it. about to say Wednesday was yesterday. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Ah. Uh... Oh, I'll send you over to Gravity. Nice, mm. nice. Wait. New lore idea, actually. Mm. Oh? Uh-oh. Yeah. Lore. I know exactly what I can do with this. Alright, we're Bring gonna send you... Lore. We're gonna send you over to Gravity. So, we are going to continue to do art fight, but what I've decided I want to do for Saturday streams is that I want to take the weekdays to do attacks. Uh, weekends is when we'll do revenge. So Ooh. on the weekend, uh, I'll be revenging all of the people who got me this week. So I'll see you all Saturday. Goodbye! Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.